Today I'm going to give you five tips that we use to clean our home when it gets out of control and messy. Let's get started. We've been stuck inside a lot lately because of COVID. Whenever it first started, we were isolated for 45 days. So when you're stuck inside, you have a lot of extra time to get things done around the house. Things like minimizing, decluttering, and the dreaded cleaning. Of course, even if you're not stuck at home, these things still need to get done. And if you had a lot of time at home during any sort of isolation or quarantine because of COVID and you feel like a failure for not doing more, don't. We felt the same in the beginning. We had a lot of time at home and for the first couple weeks, we felt like we didn't do anything around the house or use any of the time productively. So if you feel like that, you're not the only one who's had an ample amount of time to get your house clean and haven't. COVID has taught us that we didn't really need more time in the first place like we may have thought, we just needed more motivation. Do it! You know you'd be happier with a clean house, but it looks like a lot of work. So what should you do? Start small. Break it up into bite-sized pieces and the stress will fade. So our house didn't become spotless while we were isolated, but we did manage to get a lot clean and we used these tips to do it. If we haven't met yet, my name is Kalen Bruce. I'm the founder of Freedom Sprout, where we talk about raising intentional children and living intentional lives. If that interests you, please hit the subscribe button below. Now let's talk about cleaning that messy house without drowning in stress. Here are five tips. Number one, see what you're up against. We'll be moving to Japan in a few months, so we made a list of every area of our house, and it came out to be 44 items on our list. So we have 44 areas that we're up against. I used an app called Chaos Control, to track all of these as individual projects, but you can use whatever system works for you. When I started going down the list, I started with a project that I thought would be simple, our game closet with all of our board games. But as it turned out, we were up against about a thousand random pieces of board games that were all over the place in the closet. The idea of getting all these pieces together was intimidating and I knew it was gonna take a long time and I wouldn't feel like I accomplished much after just one closet was done. So that's whenever we remembered who created this problem in the first place, which leads me to point number two, get the kids involved. Odds are a great deal of the mess in your house wasn't caused by you. With our game pieces, we realized our five kids were the ones that mixed them all up, so it made sense they would be the ones to put them all back together. So don't forget to get your kids involved. They're great for all the simple tasks, but they can take on more tasks as they get older. You just have to teach them, and it does take a little extra time, but it's worth the time for them to learn the life skills and to help you get your messy house cleaned up. And don't worry, it's totally legal to put your kids to work at home. I actually wrote an article about child labor laws, so I'll link that below. Number three, focus on one thing at a time. A messy house is only stressful whenever you're looking at the entire thing and thinking, how am I going to get all of this clean? So pick a room, a shelf, a surface, and start there. You can make a list of all the things in your house like we did, or you can just go one thing at a time and it basically works the same way. It helps us to have a list because we know looking at each thing, an entire room is going to take a lot longer than one closet, and it just helps to keep organized. Number four, set aside cleaning time. Use a certain small block each day, could be as little as 10 minutes, just to clean. If you're feeling stressed out, don't clean outside of this time. Just use the 10 minutes a day to start with and you'll be surprised at how much you can actually get done over time by just doing a little bit every day. The purpose is to know exactly when to start and when to stop cleaning. And if you want to expand the window as you go, feel free. Just don't expand it too quickly and overwhelm yourself. Stick with the 10 minutes if you feel like that's all you can do right now, and that's perfectly fine. It's actually freeing to know that you're only allowed to clean during a certain window, and that'll get you into the motivation you need to start cleaning the entire house over time. Number five, do what you like first. Whichever thing is most appealing, do that first. If you like decluttering and organizing closets, go for that. If you like cleaning the kitchen, go for that. Maybe you're one of the ones who find washing dishes to be therapeutic. I don't understand you, but I can appreciate it, so do that. Maybe you enjoy doing laundry, so knock that out first. Sure, this may sound like procrastinating, and it is to a certain extent, but you're still getting things done, and that can lead to motivation to get more things done. It's always easier to keep going than it is to get started. So if you get started on something you like, something small, it's gonna be easier to keep that momentum to go into the things that you don't care for as much. So start with the easy and work your way to the hard. I'm curious to know what works for you when you're trying to clean a messy house and you're feeling overwhelmed. Different methods work for 
different people. The things I just shared is what works for us. I would like to know what works for you. And I'm open to all kinds of new ideas, which could maybe turn into another video in the future. It's all a mind game. Sometimes we have to trick ourselves into getting work done. It's a psychological battle. It actually has very little to do with getting off the couch and washing a dish. It has everything to do with mental clutter, stress, and how our environment affects us. Just remember, you're not the only one who probably feels like you should have been cleaning more or you should have a cleaner house. So don't feel guilty, do a little cleaning, start small, get some family time in. You don't have to clean all day long, but that family time could be the kids helping you clean. Before you go, please subscribe to get more videos on the things I've learned about finances, minimalism, and for our journey around the world. Check out my new book, Intentional Children. I'll link that below. That's all for today. I'll see you next week.